Hello viewers and welcome to another Noble Tech video. Today we will be looking at Zero Trace. Today we will be looking at Zero Trace and its current ecosystem. These are the current devices that are on sale, which is the Zero Trace Standard and the Zero Trace Mini. So what is Zero Trace? Zero Trace is a specialized cybersecurity device and platform designed for stealthy automation, wireless penetration testing, and advanced input emulation. And its tagline really says it all, because the best footprint is no footprint. Zero Trace combines hardware and software to create a powerful toolkit for ethical hackers, red teamers, and automation enthusiasts. The core capabilities of Zero Trace include remote keystroke and mouse injection, so you can control devices via a web interface, scriptable automation, use variables, operators, and scheduling for complex tasks, HID spoofing, disguised as gaming peripherals to avoid detection, Bluetooth and SSID spoofing, this mimics Bluetooth and Wi-Fi devices for stealth. We also have a self-destruct mode, which wipes data and locks the device if compromised. We have a recon mode which disables LEDs and restores state for covert operations. And we also have cross-platform support, so Zero Trace works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and even smart TVs. So what are the advanced features of the Zero Trace? Well, it has live control. This means virtual keyboard and joystick for real-time input. Mouse drawing and jitter, so this simulates human-like behavior. Brute Force Engine executes rapid credential attacks. Silent Trace adapts execution based on connection type. And also USB Arsenal, which emulates multiple USB device types simultaneously. Zero Trace also offers a desktop app and dashboard for managing devices, scripting, and monitoring operations. The Zero Trace devices are built around an ESP32-S3 chip. This boasts high performance, low latency, and plug and play simplicity. Currently, it is available, as I said previously, in the standard version and the mini version. Going over to the Zero Trace website, we can see that currently they are on a short break from the July 15th to August 19th. During this period, they'll only be processing digital product orders, but from the 19th of August, physical sales will once again start. So looking at prices, we can see that the Zero Trace kit is around 35 euros and the Zero Trace Mini is around 55 euros, and you can buy the firmware for around 30 euros, and this can be installed on multiple devices, including the Lilygo T-Dongle S3. Going to the About section of the website, we can see that the founder is only 16 years old. I mean, this is a really impressive project for a 16-year-old, even for an adult. We've got a rubber ducky competitor with its own ecosystem, which I'll go through very shortly. So first, we're going to look at the desktop app. As you can see, currently it says no ports found. So now we are going to plug in a Zero Trace device. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using the standard kit today. So first of all, we're going to plug in a Zero Trace device. So we plug this into the COM port. And as you can see on screen now, if I refresh, I can select COM6. So I connect. And here we have our device information. From here, we have access to the terminal device synchronization, and about Zero Trace HID device. Going over to the terminal again, we can type in help. And this will present a list of options for you to configure your Zero Trace device. Looking at the installation and setup on the website, we can see exactly what you need to do to get your Zero Trace up and running. For this, you will need your Zero Trace device, your USB-C data cable, your computer, Chrome or Edge browser, as Firefox will not work with this, and an internet connection. So your first step when you get your Zero Trace device is installation and setup, which you can find on the Zero Trace website under Docs. You go through these instructions, and once you have gone through these instructions, you connect to the Zero Trace device from the computer you'll be using to do the attack. You connect to IP address 192.168.4.1. Now, the device name will always be random, but it'll have ZT at the end, so you'll be able to tell what it is. And the password is Zero Trace with a capital Z and a capital T. So now I am going to demonstrate the Zero Trace device in action. So the first thing I'm going to do is unplug from the comms port. 
and I'm going to plug into the USB port to turn my streaming computer into a target device. Unfortunately, I can't show you connecting to the Wi-Fi, as again, that would dox me. Now, please only use these devices on systems or computers that you have permission to do this on. I am doing this on my own computer, so I have full permission to do so as I granted it to myself. I forgot to mention earlier that the Zero Trace standard kit comes with two 3D printed cases, not just one. So taking you over to my other computer, I've already connected to the Zero Trace device. You'll find it on Wi-Fi because it will end in ZT. As you can see, we are now connected via 192.168.41. So for this demonstration, we're first going to show you a fake blue screen. So we select on the predefined script and we scroll down and we select execute. As you can see on the other computer, we now have a fake blue screen. With a simple Alt F4, we can get rid of that. Now I'm going to demonstrate a Rick Roll. If you don't know what a Rick Roll is, it is playing a Rick Astley song. Never gonna give you up. Now this one doesn't work so well if you have cookie restrictions on your web browser. Which is all good really, because we can't play more than a couple of seconds of that. And next up, let's have a look at fake update screen for Windows. And let's execute. Apart from my web browser acting unusually, for most people, they would look at this and think the computer is actually updating. It's quite interesting. So once again, looking at the list, now we'll select mouse jitter for five seconds. And again, we select execute. So that was a quick look at the Zero Trace devices and their current ecosystem. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe and like button. Thank you very much and until next time, take care.